morning. It's uh, Tuesday morning. <laughs> Tuesday. Yesterday, I, we had so much fun uh, with that. Tuesday morning, it says it. Uh, we want to uh, give a title here, and um, and I like to say it like this, Marcia. We give access to God in our life. We open mm-hmm. the door for God again. Yeah. And we're going to read from a scripture that a lot of you know and probably a lot of people don't really like in the Bible, but it's in Malachi chapter 3 and it has to do with your giving. It says, bring all the tithes into the storehouse so that there will be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of heaven's armies, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great you won't have enough room to take it all in. Try me, put me to the test. And you know, um, we we had uh, been at a meeting and one of the pastors there at, or one of the ministers had shared uh, about Philippians 4.19, you know. And you know, Philippians 4.19, where it's, and we love Philippians, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches through Christ Jesus in heaven. So we know Philippians 14, but Philippians 14 was written to a particular group of people. It was written to the Philippians. And if you go back and read that, the reason Paul said that was because really the Philippian church was the only church that had taken up an offering and sent to Paul, not once, but twice. You yeah, know, they, they tried that, to take care of him. They did. They, they, they strove to take care of him. And Paul said, because of that, uh, my God shall supply all of your needs. What did the Philippians do? They gave access to God into yeah. their finances. That's right. right. When you give... That opens the door there so that God can bless you back. Amen. And uh, he, he doesn't ask for all your money. He just uh-huh. asks for you to give. Well, if you do the tithe, it's 10%. Yeah. But if you give offerings above that, he's going to multiply that back to you. Yeah. Your bills will be met. Your needs will be met. God will take care of you. You're not going to go without mm-hmm. food. You're not going to go without anything. But And, uh, you know... And then maybe you can't give the 10% right now. Start where you are. Amen. Amen. Start planting seeds. Yeah. Whatever you plant is going to grow up yeah. a harvest. Yeah. Amen. You know, I I, uh, I like that, Marcia, because many times when people will come and ask us to pray for their finances, the first thing that I, I want to ask them is, are you giving God access into your finances? In other words, are you a giver? Are you a tither? Have you opened the door? Yes. Because, you know, Marcia, one of the things I found and uh, I didn't get this from preaching, I got this from reading the Bible, is that God cares about finances. Mm-hmm. You know, yes, there. You know, we, we don't need gold and silver in heaven, but we need finances here That's on right. the earth to build the kingdom of God here, you know, to, uh, to build the kingdom of God. And so God does care, but not just care about the church, he cares about the people that are the church, you Amen. know. That's he wants to bless. Thing, yeah, too. he wants to bless you. Not so finances become the all, money becomes the all in all in your life, but because and I think uh, as we grow in the Lord, we come to this un- realization that money is simply a tool right. that God can use. You know, and uh, the ones I see God blessing are the people who give liberally to the That's Lord. Right. That's right. I mean, it's like man. Well, so, that's why they're blessed. They exactly. give liberally and it liberally comes yeah. back. I heard somebody says, man, I'd really like to be blessed like they are. And if you knew the story, they didn't start off there. That's the key. They didn't start off there, but they got a revelation of giving God access into their finances. They began to sow seed, sow seed, sow seed. And guess what God did? God began to multiply right. it back. God loves a cheerful giver. That's what the word says, you know. And so we always say, we don't give grudgingly nor of necessity. We want you to understand that God cares about your finances. And if you're having a difficult time, I ask you, have you given God access into your finances? Well, I've prayed. Well, no, you got to do more than pray. The Bible says you have to sow seed. So I encourage you, sow seed, you know, in the kingdom of God, and then watch God manifest those Amen. back in your Amen. life. I always got tickled, even when he's, Charles was early in his ministry, it, when he'd teach on tithing, he says, we give to God like with a spoon. Yes. A big, like a big tablespoon. 
but he comes back with one of those big elephant, grain shovels. Grain shovels. Yeah. I call them an elephant shovel yeah. if you're yeah. shoveling yeah. the poop. I guess. Uh, ooh. But that's big. It's big. big. He gives back to you something that big. And that, that's his promise. He said, yeah. I'm going to give back to you more than you can even contain. That's right. You know? That's right. So start giving. Yep, start giving. Amen. Open the doors for God to come in. Give him access into your finances. Amen. God bless you. We love you. Have a blessed day today.